Yo, what up everybody, it's your boy Jozu, and I'm here with a video, quick video, um, I'm gonna start doing like those quick 5 minutes, 10 minutes, um, 5 minutes, 3 minute video uncut, just to get like in the groove, and I will give you like maybe, I'm trying to give you like daily tips, because obviously Japan has opened up for everybody, and I wanna make it easy and as simple as possible for you to go there and have a good time whether it's to see the culture or to do shine shine to do all you kind of like looking forward to do and today's topic is going to japan alone the problem of going to japan alone and there's issues that a lot of people will not talk about because when you're there you're there but before going there there's a whole lot of things or being there even like there's a whole lot of things that you would have to deal with number one japan is lonely as hell like i remember my first time going there i was there i think um one and a half months or so and out of like the 45 days that i was there i had maybe six days or ten days that i actually had fun you know the rest was just like boredom and loneliness and depression but leaving japan i only remember those 10 days that i had fun right and if you're not and mind me i'm very social and i'm very like like i know how to work my way around it you know so the second time i kind of made certain changes to where i got more shine shine and i had more fun and i'll give you a tip one japan is very lonely people will avoid you people don't talk to you people you know like especially if you don't speak the language so if you can like learn certain phrases and stuff right to like where you kind of like can get somebody's attention again um i met somebody on the plane he was reading a book and i said sumimasen nani wo nan, nani wo yomimasu ka that means what are you reading i didn't understand his response but that was the beginning of the friendship so with him being so intrigued by a black person speaking a little bit japanese he we took we exchanged numbers and he was the one being a tour guide and he was introduced me to girls he was introduced me to his friends he would show me like tak, um, yakitori chicken and different places that i would have never gone to so he made my like his name is katsuhiro and he would make my trip very useful um another important tip i think it's probably the most important thing i should have put it first sorry is um, before you leave for Japan, start becoming more social before you leave your country. So I was like, you know, you have like phases where you are more mo like social and more like outgoing. And there's phases where you're more like down, more like maybe consumed with your studies and stuff. And you're less like talkative and less exciting, less fun to be around with, you know. Sometimes you're even depressed, right? So what I would do is after my exams... I would, even during my exams, I would start going to the cinema by myself. That was the biggest first step, you know, like going to the cinema by myself. I start going, then I would start kind of like going out like to restaurants and, you know, like drink coffees in the morning before going to like study classes and stuff, right? I would do stuff like that. And, and the epitome of epitome is like where I would go to nightclubs by myself and I would like start like meeting new people, joining people who are already a group, you know, like practicing that skill. Because keep in mind, if you have that skill and you stop practicing that skill, you will lose it. And it's like a muscle. You will still have to regain it. That's why, you know, in my book, I kind of like give you like a step guide, like perfect step guide that I, you know, took. Um, and if you're really like anxious and really awkward, like, I don't know, man, like you have to start off small and then you go big. But, you know, there will come a point like where I had like maybe one month of like time to like before my travel. And I would manage to like pull girls in the club by myself. You know, like I would go there by myself, get myself a drink, see a group of guys, talk to them, use them to jump to another group. And that group might have girls and the girls would like find me charming because I was brave enough to talk to them and stuff. Um, and I would take occasionally some home, you know, I, over time I got better. And then once I got to Japan, the same thing didn't work, but it gave me like a, like, like it gave me like 25, 30% a head start than if i didn't do it right and eventually when i started to get to know the japanese culture 
and when I started getting to know like how it works, then I kind of like would integrate with what I did in the UK with Japan and it would kind of all of a sudden magically work, you know? Um, to where I would like pull two girls and have like a threesome, like two best friends, right? And I was like, holy damn, like, is that even possible? And I think the fact that I practiced before was like 90% of the reason why I had like at least a good time. Um, the second time going to Japan, another change that I did was I would look at YouTube videos and see like if I do like for example if I had like a plan going to Japan do Mount Fuji, go to Disneyland in Japan and do different things um, and I run out of things to do I would go on YouTube videos and say oh what to do and they would literally show you things visually and videos because I'm a visual person and I would go and do it you know and by going and do it I would meet people somehow somewhere because I was in my social mood you know and if you don't do it and if you don't do it the way I'm just describing you will fall into a trap of like becoming lonely and depressed and isolated and then self-conscious and there's this vicious cycle of like um, staying in your room and the depressing part is you hear people playing outside, having fun, groups of people chilling outside. And the worst part is the sun is shining. So you in your room and the sun is shining. You just like on the internet, web browser, browsing through like Twitter porn and stuff, which can be, get depressed because it's like you couldn't do the same thing at home and you're in Japan kind of thing, you know? So these three tips, I just want to keep it very short and simple so that, you know, like you kind of like are ready for when you are going. And... One thing that actually will also help is going at the right time. Go to Japan when there's less tourists, right? When there's less tourists, that's the easiest way to get laid, actually. Less competition, so you don't have to put as much effort in, okay? Um, but I will do that in another video probably tomorrow. But you you guys, you know, like, I like let me know what you guys think about those, like, five minutes, like, videos. So... Um, I'm reading every comment and you guys giving me with the comments like ideas of like what to talk about I'm just trying to get back into it, you know to where I'm like Free again to like do like serious videos again. All right. Love you guys. I'm out